Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create your own 2D bordered right angled triangles in DaVinci Resolve 16.2.5. Inside your edit window, go to effects library. Under toolbox, select effects and go to find fusion composition. Select and drag this to the start of your edit timeline. Right click on your fusion composition edit and go to open in fusion page. Inside your nodes panel in fusion, hold shift and press space to open up the select tool window. Type in triangle in the bottom search box to find this particular tool. Select this from the option menu and go to click on add. Hold shift and press space again and go to search for the background node. Select this and click on add. Select the grey box next to triangle 1 and drag this to the blue arrow next to background 1 to make a connection. Now select the grey box to the right of background 1 and drag this to the yellow arrow to the left of media out 1. You should see a triangle preview appearing on your fusion window. In order to change the corner points of your triangle, select the triangle node. Inside inspector, underneath controls, point 3x is currently 0.5. In order to alter the triangle so that it becomes right angled, the value for point 3x needs to be the same as one of the other two values currently stored in the variables point 1, 2, 3, x and y. In this particular example, we have 0.1 and 0.9. For this project, I'm going to set 0.3x to 0.9. So that the right angled section appears in the bottom right corner of the preview. Select background. Go to inspector. And underneath color. Choose the color that you wish for your triangle to be. What we will do is select a colour for this particular triangle which will eventually make up the border around my final triangle image. If you don't wish to apply a border effect to your triangle, the colour that you select here will be for your final triangle. With your background node selected, press shift and space. Go to add a merge node to your project. The background node should be automatically connected to the new merge node using the yellow arrow which represents the background of your fusion composition. In order to create a border effect in this particular project, the blue triangle will need to sit behind another triangle which will be inserted onto this canvas. Deselect your nodes by clicking anywhere on the fusion grid. Hold control and select the triangle and background nodes. Use command instead of control if you are a Mac user. Hold control and press C to copy. Deselect triangle 1 and background 1. Hold control and press V to paste. And so now we will select the colour that we want the central part of our triangle to become. Ensure that your duplicated background node is only selected. Underneath inspector and colour once again. Choose the colour that you wish for the main body of your triangle to have. Using the colour tab once again under background. In this case here, I'm going to choose white. Connect the grey box next to the duplicated background node to the green arrow by merge 1, which represents the foreground. Now to wrap the blue border around my white triangle, I will select the duplicated triangle 1 node, representing the white shape on my screen. The size of my white triangle basically needs to be reduced so that the blue border shows around the outside. In order to achieve this, modifications will be made to the point 1, 2 and 3 x and y variables. In order to shift the bottom left corner of my white triangle inwards slightly, I'm going to increase the value inside point 1 x by 0 0.025 from 0 0.1 to 0 0.125. The remaining five values need to be modified as follows. Point 1xy needs to be incremented by 0 0.01 from 0 0.1 to 
to 0.11 so that the bottom left corner point shifts upwards slightly. Point 2x needs to be decremented by 0.01 from 0.9 to 0.89 resulting in the node in the bottom right corner shifting inwards slightly away from the edges also. Point 2y needs to be incremented by 0.01 to 0.11 and finally to move the top right corner of the white triangle inwards point 3x needs to be decremented by 0.01 from 0.9 to 0.89 and whilst we incremented point 1x by 0.025 we need to do the opposite and decrement point 3y by 0.025 so that this becomes 0.875 and returning to your edit window this particular shape can be modified using the transform options underneath inspector such as rotation zoom and position settings including above other image and video tracks that you already have on your edit timeline Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.